Hey guys, what is up? This is Justin from the Good For Nothing Gamers. Uh, I thought this would be a good time to uh, do a playthrough of the Stanley Parable. Uh, my buddy Spencer, he's um, he's in the military, so he's gone for two weeks uh, to the Mojave Desert. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be a good time to play this. So we're just going to jump right into this. I don't know anything about this game, really. It was on sale uh, on Steam for 3 bucks, so I thought, what the hell, uh, I'll give it a try. It looks pretty cool, so the review's really good, so we're just going to jump right in here. Story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee hmm. number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came oh, wow. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Mm. Sounds like a nightmare. Stanley relished every moment of the orders that he made. As though he had been made exactly for me. Jesus. Stanley. Although, I'm getting my master's in IT, so this will probably be me in a couple years. So, I don't know. Something that would have ever changed Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the morning. And I guess it makes for an easy job. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Sharp, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk okay. and stepped out of his office. All right, all right, let's see what do we do here. I know how I pick things up. If I'm supposed to pick anything up. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, I can't go in there. Oh. Hmm. Ah. What could it mean? What could it mean indeed? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard... Did you get that memo? He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What is this? Cannot read that. Okay, where is this meeting room at? Hmm. Got shit all over the floor. Okay, let's. Oh, what is that? Someone spilled some coffee. Is that the meeting room? I guess so. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So what happens if I go to the door on the right? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Huh. Wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ooh, this is this is already strange. Hmm. Ooh, employee lounge. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautiful hmm. I don't know if I would consider it so beautiful. Hmm. Yes. Really, really well. Yes. So utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking but eager to get back to business. Wow. 
So I, I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Stanley was so bad at following the Well very true. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Well. Hmm. So I'm guessing there's just a bunch of different outcomes based on, uh, you know, which directions you go. What the fuck? Yes, perhaps we have. Who are you? Guys, is this like a big brother or like a voice inside my head? I don't know. It's really weird. For her, who the who the hell is her? Hmm. Her. Who is her? Who's been waiting? I don't know who this chick is. Oh shit! Dark room. Oh god. Oh what the hell? Oh god! It's a disgruntled ex-girlfriend. What the? Hell? What if I don't pick it up? Oh god! I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. I'm just gonna let it ring. I'm avoiding the situation. I don't know if it, is it just going to keep ringing? Can I get out of here? So what the... Oh shit. I guess I have to pick it up. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. You bastard. Oh, uh, I guess for a second, maybe. God, yes, please enlighten me. This is a small-ass apartment. Jesus. What the heck? Press E on my keyboard. Okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his Boy, that sounds just like my life. Are they watching me? Okay. What? Oh, you bastard. I feel sorry for me. Press three. Fuck you. I'm gonna press one. Oh, nothing happened. Two. F. Space. Nothing else happens. Uh, I have to press three. They rigged it. Okay. God, yes, that sounds just like real life. God, it's uncanny. Press K to watch TV. What the fuck? to you to spend time with the boys. All right. Either. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that 
his decision to mean something was almost too wonderful to be true. What a virgin! God, what the, the fuck? The game with the baby. Ooh. Uh, to tell my kids a story. I didn't have a wife. How the fuck do I have kids? Tell my wife I love you. Okay, baby. Oh. How could that possibly be? Surrounding by work. He's pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. It's time to go to sleep. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, God, this is depressing. God! <laughs> uh, fuck! I don't want to be at work in the morning. God damn it! Dog, oh, I'm doing it. Well, God, it's, the choices are so shitty. To question nothing, I'm not pressing it. Oh, I'm fucking back at work. Oh. I wonder how long I have to go not pressing it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Maybe this time. Please die. What the fuck? Oh shit. Uh, did I die? Did I die? I don't understand. I guess I died. What the. Okay, I'm back at the start. What the heck? Hmm. Okay, so I guess I gotta... Okay, well... Alright... So let's, uh... Yes, perhaps I did. Alright, alright. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to the left. I mean, I hate doing what I'm told to do, but... It's not working out any other way. Okay. Yet there was not a single Tips for not getting fired. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Get Chris out of the broom closet. That is interesting. Uh, hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hired somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. It sounds like a very efficient office. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Well, this, uh, yeah. Hmm. So what are we, what are we, what are we working on here? What a, what's the, today's business? Hmm. Ready to watch charts on the same slide to pick the same information. Oh, nice. Okay. Firm closet. Oh. Coming to a 
Oh fuck. Mm, uh, I'm going downstairs. Let's see what we got down here. Uh, it's a weird place to park your car. How the hell did you get it in here? Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co workers blinking mysteriously out of existence. Ah! Yes, perhaps I am crazy. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange. What the heck? For example, why couldn't he see his feet? Oh! What? Why did doors close automatically behind him? Hmm. Ghosts. Ah, yes. He came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the word for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. To a point, found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually wrong. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. So this is what happens when you work in an office like this. It just drives you completely insane. You killed all your co-workers. Now you're just wandering the halls aimlessly. Oh, what the hell? Oh, well, this is kind of cool. Ooh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I love space. Yes, indeed. It's a very good question. Oh God! Oh God! Oh my god. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just he would prove, uh. he would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited Ooh, himself huh. to wake up. He felt the full weight of the blanket on his skin. Mm. Hmm, everything will be fine. I am okay. Oh shit, I'm fucking crazy. I'm not okay. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. Can anyone hear my voice? Oh god. Oh, what the heck? 
What the heck? Oh god, I killed myself. I killed myself. I went crazy. That sounds about right. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. She thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man make her. <laughs> yeah, seeing this dead man on the sidewalk uh, that killed himself makes me feel better about my life. Okay, so, yes. Oh, God. All right, I'm back here at the start. Okay, I guess this is a good place to end this. Um, I guess I might do another video and try some other possibilities and see how they end. Uh, so far, it's a really strange game, but it's really cool. Uh, I guess it's kind of like, um, just makes you question everything about life, uh, what's real and all that, all that business. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'd recommend it for anybody that wants to play it. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.